One of those things I've never covered and might actually help a few of you who are not aware of it. There is this nice little website called Defiance Data and it's more, as far as I'm aware, was it was kind of created by fans, people who actually played the game and they have done an absolute incredible job with this site. I mean, they, they're, there's so much information here. I mean, if, if you're new to the game, if you're trying to figure things out or you just need general information, this site is uh, something you should have bookmarked. Site comes in very, very handy. And if you can't tell even just from looking at the front page, it's the news is here. Every time something new that is actually newsworthy is on or is out, it's on here, and you can see it. It's stuff even I've covered. You see cyber rigs, weapon bonus roll changes, uh, the free-to-play stuff, and the developer interview with Low Carb, who took the place of Trick. The cyber tri uh, They've got a cyber chip database here where you can't even find this on Defiance, uh, the Defiance website, forums, or anything. Here it is, right here on Defiance data. All the A lot of the news that's coming out, I mean... A Q&A from one of the developers right there. Alcatraz updates, test servers. Here's uh, what I put out the other day myself. XP and Reputation Boost weekend. So it's just tons of information. And a good way to, you know, even if you just peeked on there, it's a good way to see when something's going to be happening. These guys are, are very up to date and keep this going very, very well. There's more information than even I have cared to look at it that there's so much here if you look in their database I mean they actually get pictures of the headgears and everything of the of the outfits and they try to get it on here I've seen them looking for it before in the currencies here's your data recorders and the data recorders this actually is going to show you the locations show you the locations of where they are at that's incredible so many people are looking for these so events tells you all the different events in the world Items, missions, pursuits, your person, power, skills, the world. I mean, there is just, I mean, look at this arc fall codes, which is expired. Sorry about that one. <laughs> your ego grid, uh, links to the forum stuff. Uh, I guess if you were a veteran coming back, oops, uh, there's your game catch up, loadouts, model viewer, uh, sound archive. I mean, how many fan sites actually have a sound archive? So, you really should hop on over to Defiance Data and, and check this out because they put a lot of work into this and it, it's really, really worth looking at. And let's see if I can't show you to the extent of the work we're talking about. Let's see, items. And let's go down to weapons. And what do you see here you see all the different kinds of weapon types or you could just start scrolling down and you see all the weapons and everything and see look let's it's a sumimoto there's an actual picture of the sumimoto and if we click on this it even tells you contained in the seventh legion supply crate it's how you get these this is the only place you can really get one at least that's legendary status so that's just to me that's always been incredible and it's i mean we're talking about to the extent let's say you see in the world chat you just see people throwing up stuff for sale and somebody says they're selling a turtle dove and you're like what is a turtle dove how that doesn't make any sense well go up to the search and you can see i've already done it before turtle dove so we'll run that search and here it is a dc2 turtle dove so, the picture and everything. So you get to see, Turtle Dove is a sniper rifle. It's actually, if you've played the game for a while, you would already know. It fires two shots in quick succession. That means it's, it's a Ranger variant. Because a Ranger is the sniper rifle that shoots two rounds in a row. So that is, that is how in-depth this site goes. And um, I really, really couldn't push you enough. If you're new to the game... To, to come over here and, and look at the site. If you're, I mean, if you're missing data recorders, I mean, it's right here. There's so much. You just click on it and it's going to show you where it's at. It tells you what it's at. It tells you what it actually says. Here's the directions to this one. Here's the location of it. There's the actual data recorder. 
that's pretty darn nice because I mean they're telling you here's Bernal Tower right here and you can see overpass so all you got to do is look down here and you would see it they're showing you that it's basically if you're gonna look under this you'll see that there so pretty darn in-depth for a fan website and uh, pretty impressive too and I'm, I'm gonna say whenever I've missed time I've had to come back and look at stuff so I could be like okay what am I uh, especially when it comes to the weapons and everything I'm just scratching my head once people say some of the names I'm like you know I knew this event was here but I didn't know these weapons were here I didn't get to play enough during this so and uh, some of this is some of this is old information that that necessarily won't necessarily do you some good because some of this stuff just isn't uh, stuff that happens anymore. Like uh, these are contracts, and this is old and new is what it looks like to me. Because I'm seeing contracts that uh, 75 data records from Bulwarks in San Francisco. You just don't you don't you don't get those anymore. I miss those. <laughs> but this this is a place to be. This is a place to check out if if you play Defiance, if you love Defiance. Or if you're just trying to learn how to play the game and learn where certain things are, you should be coming to the Defiance data and be checking this site out. Uh, and it does cost money to run a website, so they do take donations and donations only. They do not demand any money, even if you create an account. There's no money demanded from you. All they're asking for is a little bit of support. And you can see the support they're asking for isn't much. They're only trying to get $75 pretty much per month. So... You know, if you can hand them a little bit of support to help them continue to help you, that is a good thing. So make sure you guys hop over here and check out Defiance Data, and I will catch you guys later.